Hey, I'm Joe Rotaski, K5 Math DRT. And I'm Rebecca Ore, the K5 Math DRT. And I just got back from maternity leave, and I hear there have been lots of changes. That's right, you picked a perfect time to return. So, you know that we have new bus standards, right? That Probably I know. Heard mm -hmm. about that. And yep. we also have a new resource to use. I heard is... about that. Stamsco. That's right. So, you were telling me that you really love those PowerPoints that we used to have, right? Me and everybody else love them, yep. I hear. And now they're gone. What? Yeah. No. But it's okay, because we're creating new um, lesson PowerPoints that are aligned with the Stemscopes resources. Yay! Um, so, part of those resources that we'll be making PowerPoints for are the Accessing Prior Knowledge, the Foundation Builder, the Hook, the Skill Basics, which are in primary, and the Explorers, which are in all K through five. That's a lot of PowerPoints. It Yay. is. And these new PowerPoints, they are aligned to those best standards, unlike our former PowerPoints, which were maps. So, we're going to take care of any of those slight adjustments you might see a standard moving here and there, or changes, or a brand new standard. So it makes sense. I want to use the new ones, not the old ones. Absolutely. And same as it used to be, but you can download these, you can edit them, you can customize them for your classroom. Okay. So take a look at this. This looks like the guides that we had last year. Um, I see some things different, some different words like explore, but still building understanding. But what's that big orange thing? So, yep, we've designed our unit of study very similar to our old units. And we've got that orange section. If you pull up the scope overview on the right here, that's from STEM scopes. So we've kind of got those aligned. You see that engage and we have engage up there. Mm -hmm. um, and those are where some of our resources are. That is kind of where you want to start. Okay. And then we think about moving down into those explorers. So before I started like where the explorer is, but now I'm going to start where the engage is at the top. Exactly. Okay. And we'd move down to do any of those explorers. And then you can kind of think of, okay, this explores a certain content. And if I go across the row, those resources are supporting the content of the explorer. Okay. That's kind of similar to last year. It is. Now here's a prime. Do you see anything different on the primary? Hmm. So I would start with the engage, but then I see first there's a skills basic instead of explore. There's a couple skills basics. That's right. So we had said all K through five has explores, but kindergarten, first and second grade have mini lessons that are called skill basics. Okay. And there's still PowerPoints for those too. There are PowerPoints for those. Yay. And then that would be that same concept, a skill basic and an explorer would go together and then the resources in the row support that. All right. The orange part I see has a rocket, which I remember from last year is learning acceleration lesson. You're exactly correct. So in the engage, I would start with the accessing prior knowledge and I see the PPT probably means there's a PowerPoint. You're correct. And then from there, it looks like I would go to the foundation builder maybe, which also has a PowerPoint. And then it looks like there's some iReady lessons that I may or may not do, depending on if my kids get it or don't understand. And then I would go to the hook, and it looks like it's within Explore 1 and another PowerPoint. Yeah, so there is a PowerPoint for the hook, but it's going to be within that Explore 1 because it often connects to that. Okay. So let's look at what these two PowerPoints look like, the Accessing Prior Knowledge and Foundation Builder. Oh, Who okay. Knows? Well, I see that there are some that are black slides, some that are blue slides, and there's some notes just like last year. I'm sure I want to read those, but why are they blue and black? Definitely. So the blue slides are hidden. Those are going to be for teacher slides. So okay. that's preparation, any materials you need, and you're right, that's all in the notes at the bottom of the slide. But if you watch it in slideshow mode, those blue slides are not going to show up. Got it. So I definitely want to watch it not in slideshow mode. For sure. So those black slides are going to be what you might use with students. All of these resources are taken directly from STEM scopes. All the notes on procedure and facilitation are all from STEM scopes. So this is just going to help our teachers to understand kind of the flow of the way we go through the lessons. Okay. Um, some of these materials, STEM scopes would ask you to print, but we're putting them on slides. And I think you might not need to print all these sometimes. This makes my job easier. You guys are awesome. That's job. <laughs> um, then we have a wrap-up slide afterwards. Okay, this is like a stoplight, so it looks like after I see how my kids did the task, then the red 
they probably didn't do so good. So it tells me what to do, a foundation builder, maybe mm -hmm. some ivory lessons, yellow, some more things to do if some of my kids got it. And then if all kids showed success, I'll start the hook. Yeah, you might not need the foundation builder or any of those prerequisite iReady lessons if all your students are showing they're ready to start the Explore. Okay. But let's say we did have a majority of students who are struggling a little bit. So we would go into that foundation builder lesson which has a PowerPoint same flow right yeah blue slide black slide for the student and it's all there yeah. we're not watching in presenter view all this uh, would be animated if we we're watching perfect and follow-up slides if I still have some students struggling maybe I'm gonna put them on those I ready tutorials tells me exactly where to go next but if all my students are showing me that they've got that place value knowledge whatever it is they're ready to go on to the explore or the hook perfect understanding that looks familiar i remember that in the structures that's right that would be part of our structure a right so that's where our explorers are going to fall and we see we've got powerpoints for each of those explorers explorer one is always going to have that hook and we see the other aspects that will all be embedded into every explorer powerpoint You'll have a PowerPoint for every Explorer, and the hook part two is always going to be in that last final Explorer for the unit. And remember, even in K2, we saw the skill basics. So you're going to have a PowerPoint. Sometimes those are before an Explorer, after an Explorer. It's going to look different in every unit. And we see those same aspects of the Explorers in primary as well. Lots of stuff. So just real quick, I want to show you. Some of the parts in the Explorer PowerPoint. Okay. This is huge for every Explorer. STEM Scopes has a video on what to prepare for the lesson. Oh, wow. So I definitely recommend watching that. You see, that's one of those blue slides. Perfect, just for me. No. Good. Daily numeracy. Remember, we had those math routines. Yep, every day. So we're selecting the daily numeracy and connecting it to the Explorer. Okay. Here's that hook we were talking about. It's usually a video, some I notice I wonder. My kids will like that. And then we've embedded everything from those uh, STEM scopes, the resources, any manipulative students might use, anything they're doing in the centers, it's all there on the PowerPoint for you. Cool. Including any of the recommended instructional supports. More blue slides for me. That's right, the teacher blue slide. All those things we clicked through before, the student journals, we're showing where to go in the student journal. We're pulling out some of those daily math chats. It's on the PowerPoint. You don't have to print it out. Oh, cool. The student exit tickets. You know, some of those things are in the student consumable, but we're also putting them on the PowerPoint slides as well. Okay. And it always wraps up with kind of next steps moving forward. I love that because sometimes I get confused like where should I go, what should I do next? Love that. And we see our um, unit of study there and we'll kind of zoom out. So remember we're thinking that idea of like we go to the explore and then we go across the row. Mm -hmm. So these are the resources I might use. We see our little uh, stoplight there. So depending on what I saw my students doing, if they look like they're ready to go, they're ready to put it into motion, they would, I could pull some resources from the, this column, the independent or collaborative practice, or perhaps I have some students who maybe need a little bit more work or some foundational work. I would pull some resources from here, maybe do some small groups. Okay, so like I might do the Explore One PowerPoint for like a day or two, then I won't use the PowerPoint for the next day. I might do some like small group things, resource, things that are listed there. Right, this could be your structure B. Okay and all these additional resources from all from stem scopes that you can kind of pick and choose what would be best for your students okay and at the end of the unit we've got our evidence of learning you That's can choose important. what assessment you would want to use there got it so really quick we wanted to just introduce these powerpoints to you we're getting them rolled out so your next steps would be look at your next unit of study maybe it's one two whatever the next unit is okay check out download some of those powerpoints um, i would even say to share with your team or staff if they're not aware of these yeah and use them in a planning session so sit down with your team open them up go through I them i can't wait it's going to make planning so much easier
of course, we want people to try those out. And you might already be thinking of things you can add or things you can change. That's fine. Download, customize them. Perfect. They're your PowerPoints once you download. That's awesome. Thanks. All right. So we hope you are enjoying the PowerPoints. We'll get them rolled out as fast as we can. And until next time, our next Dive in 5, we'll see you later. Thanks. Hey.